Hello and welcome to another Doctor Who figure review by me, Pertwee Smith 11. Yeah, I'm sorry I haven't done a video in a long time. I haven't done one since Wednesday. I haven't had time since school or anything, really. So I'm just doing any figure I fancy, well, figure set I fancy doing so. This one's always been one I actually wanted to do for a long time and I've finally sort of got it but I shall do an update first sorry but yeah I'm actually really excited about tomorrow and I think a lot of you are because Day of the Daleks is coming out on DVD yay so yeah I'm really looking forward to review well if I get it tomorrow then I'll be happy to review it um, tomorrow so I'll do a collection update, that's if I do get it tomorrow, which I hope I do, because that's something I really want to do. And also on Saturday, I shall be reviewing, um, well, on Saturday I'm going to be or well, ordering uh, the City of Death set with um, Tom Baker and the Scaroth, which um, is brilliant. Which, well, I know it's brilliant, but... Hey, let's see. They got the scarf, right? But let's see if they do anything else, really. So, yeah. Sorry if I'm talking really, really fast, but I'm excited. Well, I'm not really excited. Alright, I am excited about Day of the Daleks. I've seen clips, I've seen exclusive bits of, like, the trike and stuff. So, yeah, that's me babbling on. Now, on to the figure adventures. There are, they are on. Um, well, they're in full swing at the moment. There, I've done the first two scenes. Yep, yeah, of the Savage Tribe. Um, if um you're lucky, or if I get everything done to schedule, there be do it will be done by um. Uh, trying to think. Um, done by um the. Well, December. You say that's a long time, but I have to produce four stories, four parts, and this is just a computer webcam. So this is why I have to be extra careful. I have done a few sets, but I have to build some more. So that's what stopped some of um, the production of the actual figure adventures. Yeah. So hopefully, each story is four parts, as I've said. Oh, yeah. And um, their span... Uh, each story will last a month, basically. Four stories, so if it's December, it will last till March. Yes. So hopefully... You'll all be happy with that. Yes. So, yeah. Let's get on to the review of the figures. As you can see, I have the DVD of Revenge of the Cybermen. What? There. Ta da! Yeah. So I'll start off with accessories. Sorry, I don't have the packaging, but I've had this since December and I haven't managed to keep it. So I'll start off with the Cybermat, which is making another appearance in Doctor Who. In episode 12, series 6, closing time. So yeah, let's review this first. As you can see, it has a red little mouth. There, you can't exactly see it, but it does. It's nicely sculpted. Nice and silver. Well, it's plate. And it's even got the little crack. Well, the little slap there where Tom Baker pours the gold in. There has the company information. No, actually, I'll just do a quick. It isn't the company information for once. It is like a zip, to be honest. Like, I've only just noticed that. You can't exactly see it, but I'm trying my hardest to get it. Yeah. So, yeah, that's basically the side map, which I'm looking forward to closing time up in two weeks' time after God Complexes. Yes. And yeah, I'm sorry, but I haven't been able to do videos yeah so this set and the um, remembrance set we're one of the poor 
set for quality, well, one of the worst for quality control lights. Cyberman heads being scratched to smithereens. Yeah. And, yeah, I think you know. Mine does have a little scrap, but it doesn't really bother me that much. And just a little paint miss there. So, yeah, onto the head, well, onto the articulation. I should be reviewing the <coughs> cyber leader. Head just pops off when I move it, so I have to force it back down like the silver nemesis Cyberman. Arms do a full 360. Bicep do a 360. No, actually, not 360 because of the, the wire there. So I say about 90, maybe, yeah, 90. And then you got your elbow, and then you got your hand 360. The waist. Don't do a 360. Well, actually, I don't. I'm not sure. Yeah, waist. Do a full 360. Um. Legs go out, and they do a split, and you got your knee, and you got your boot articulation. Yeah. Which is very good articulation. Yeah, now onto the detail. Head. The head has a nicely sculpted head. It isn't just an invasion Cyberman, to be honest. There you have it, there it is. You can see the gun there. These were the only Cybermen to actually use that gun on the top there. They were nicely sculpted um, ridges, where you can't exactly see it. You've got the nice little. It's painted black all the way back. You can see where it doesn't exactly fit on. I'll just try and pop that one. There we go. Hang on. There we go. That looks sort of better. You got the hole of the little bolt. Hang on. I'm just trying to get that focus to focus. There you go. I don't exactly know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it there. It's like the invasion Cyberman little bolt. This is um, another Cyberman to only have one screw on the back, and the Earthshock had four, I think. Yeah, all the 80 Cyberman had four screws. Yeah. So now onto the chest unit. Sorry, I'm a bit short for time. I may do this in two parts. You got the four buttons there. What um, the Cyberman would fire on the top, what would press, and then that would go. Yeah, that's my rubbish sound effect for it. I've got the nice um, button there, little crank there, wires, well, the piping going down, this funny thing there, material there, see, very nice. Pipes go all the way to the back, there you go, right to the back there, where it's lovely and creased. Yeah, the side men actually didn't exactly appear with the John Pertwee era. So the Cybermen haven't been on Doctor Who since 1969, and you say 69? Well, if you include the War Games, they actually did a bit of appearance. Not sure what prime, a bit rubbish. Got the creases on the back going down there. Yeah, pipe there, the same as the um, elbow there. And then you've got the pipe going all the way down to the leg, and then you've got the lovely creases on the trousers. There and all that. Just silver boots with a silver bottom with the company information. All out kit peddler, well, this design for the BBC and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, basically, these two sidemen are exactly the same as this one, but without the black handlebars. Yes. So, yeah. The other one. I find this quite really cool how this um, does it. I just hope I've got the right side man. No, I've got. Because this head on this side man here is stayed on really well, but as soon as I turn this one, that one pops off. And this, as you can see, it's a normal side man. And I should just get one of my other figures. What has a removable head? And this is what I do. Hang on, excuse me for a second. I don't know if this is what everybody wants. 
but it especially works on Yana. You can have a man being converted into a revenge Cyberman, which works awfully well. So hope you enjoyed this review, and my next review will be of the Genesis of the Dark Set.